Laparoscopic resection of the caudal globe. Present the case of a 76 year old male with medical history of high blood pressure, dyslipidemia, prostate adenocarcinoma, which was treated with brachytherapy, diverticulosis, and a pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor. One course of treatment was Valsartan hydrochlorothiazida. The patient had surgical record of laparoscopic distal pancreatomy and inguinal hernioplasty. The patient was under medical monitoring for a cystic lesion in the pancreatic tail, which was suggestive of TPMI. During control checkups, the lesion appeared to increase in size. Therefore, a distal laparoscopic pancreatomy was performed. The result of the anatomopathological study revealed the lesion to be a low-grade neuroendocrine tumor, T2NO. At the one-year post-operatory follow-up, a lesion in the caudate lobe was detected. This was suggestive of metastasis. As a result, surgical intervention was decided as the cause of action. No anomalous uptakes were found in the preoperatory somatosin receptor scintigraphy. French position was chosen for the laparoscopic approach. The surgery starts with the positioning of the trochers under direct visualization. Proceed with the release of adhesions formed after the previous surgery. We section the round and falciform ligaments. We went on with the sectioning of the triangular ligament until we achieved visualization of the left suprahepatic vein. this image, we can see the diaphragmatic vein and the left suprahepatic vein. After mobilizing the left hepatic lobe, we proceed with the Pringle maneuver to achieve vascular control of the hepatic ileum. We separate upwards the second and third hepatic lobes to expose the caudate lobe. Intraoperatory echography is used to confirm the location of the lesion. We discarded the presence of other lesions in the rest of the hematic parenchyma. We continue with the dissection of the arancio ligament until the exposure of the medium suprahepatic vein.
can see the medium suprahepatic vein and the cava vein underneath. Doing this, we start the left piggyback separating the caudate lobe from the cava vein. Next step is the hepatic transaction using Sonostar. Continue with the vascular control of the portal branches of the caudate lobe using endoclips. We extract the surgical piece with endo bag and we check the macroscopic borders of the tumour. The surgery with a thorough hemostasis. In this last image, we can see a global view of the anatomy identifying the left suprahepatic vein, the medium suprahepatic vein, hepatic ileum and the cover vein surrounding the surgical bed of the caudate lobe. Aponeurotic closure of 12 mm trochers.